Hi everyone, this is Felina. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. And either way, I am very happy to have you. And if you're used to my channel at all, you know this isn't usually the, the type of intro I do. It's usually me on screen. But the reason for it, I do have a video coming up, but I did that video about a month ago. And I had to edit it down a lot, and you can see some flaws in it. It's not perfect. But I, I did that about a month ago because I had thought I would do 31 days for Halloween. And I changed my mind about that. I'm sorry. Uh, but I just kind of didn't want to commit myself to 31 days. Um, you know, I mean, I, I did it last year and I enjoyed it. But I missed out on some things like... Um, there are movies I like to watch, and I'm sure there'll be new ones out too that I want to see. And I have uh, also I watch content creators that I enjoy, and you know some of my favorites. I missed out on their content because I was so busy, so I kind of made a compromise. So I will be doing stories. I'm afraid to commit to how often I'll post, but I'm going to do the best I can with it, and I hope you'll enjoy it. And I guess we'll get on into the video that, like I said, I did about a month ago. And I hope you enjoy it. And once again, thank you for checking me out. This needs to be propped up a little better. It's my little friend here. It has my name on it. Yes, it does have a cat, but I don't think black cats are bad luck. I have Milky Way, she's good luck. All black cats are good luck. All cats are good luck. But, anyway, it's just going to consist of, uh, if you would like, I would love for you to go watch uh, last year's. I have them in a playlist. And, um, I will just be talking about different stories. And, there was some ghost hunting last year. I don't know if I'll do that this year or not. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going by myself, okay? No. But, what I wanted to start uh, uh, out with, and uh, this is from a book I read. And I know a lot of you don't like uh, book reviews. I've tried that. I'll probably still do them every now and then. But, hey, reading, is, I don't want to preach to you, but reading is really good for you. And you can cheat sometimes. Well, it's not really cheating because it, while it may not, you know, be as good as actual physical reading, audiobooks are nice. You can just sit back and listen to a story. You know, you can do either way. But, I wanted to talk about a book that uh, actually sort of surprised me. It's a true story, and it's a very recent. It uh, was published October of 21, so about a year ago. So, the name of this book is The Taylor Mill Horror. And now, uh, the author is Austin Lawrence. I think I've got that right. I'll correct it if I'm wrong. Uh, Austin Lawrence. But the person who is given, whose point of view it's given from, is named Sam. And I'll tell you a little about their story. Because, uh, and yes, at this time, if something has changed, I, I am recording a little ahead of time. But if something changes, I'll also put that on screen too. But as of right now, I just looked. And uh, the book, it's under 200 pages. For me on Kindle, it was. Uh, it's, okay, they have the Kindle version on Amazon, they have, uh, the audio, and they have the, they have paperback. If anything is changed, I'll put it on the screen. So, and I'm going to insert a picture of the book, so you'll recognize it. Okay. Okay. Okay, what this is about, and I'm, like I said, I don't, it, I don't know if he changed his name for the book. I don't know. Or maybe somebody did the writing for him, but it's from the point of view from the man, Sam. Okay. Sam has recently married a wonderful woman. She has a daughter, and um, the daughter is eight years old. And he he really, you know, he feels like he's found, he, well, he has, he's found his family. He he loves his wife. Uh, he loves the daughter. He adopts her. Yet, for some reason, the dad, I don't remember what had 
happened with the dad, but he's not in the picture. And they are so happy, very happy. But then they move into this house, the Taylor Mill. And now the area I'm in, I look, I, I've never been there that I remember, unless it was in passing, and I, I don't even think I've done that. Uh, you're in a hurry to get to where you're going, you don't pay any attention, but, and I wouldn't have thought anything of it, you know, I'd never heard of it before, as I remembered. But, anyway, it is here in Kentucky. And, uh, wow, they move in this house, and everything is so perfect. It's so perfect. They get along great. So perfect. It's so perfect. They get along great. They, they're family. And they're there for a while. And they notice little things at first. Like, uh, for instance, uh, like, and don't do this. Uh, they maybe did this. I think maybe they had too many because I think it was a bigger house. They uh, would take, uh, like, batteries out of the uh, fire alarms, and they would still go off. Things getting thrown across the floor. And it just gets worse and worse and worse. It's, you know, it starts out like most do. It. it starts out small, and it gets worse. And then it's affecting, you know, all of them. You know, him, even though he tries to find logic in it. Uh, Sam does and his wife she and the daughter they're getting scared and she it, it kind of of course this is what anything evil tries to do it wants to drive a wedge between you know between loved ones it does it kind of it it makes them argue a little bit it seems like that's something they haven't done is argue I mean, they're kind of still, you know, like the honeymoon stage. And I know everyone argues probably, but you know what I'm saying. They were getting along great. But um, he notices, notices these things, but he tries to find the logic in it because he, um, he hasn't been very spiritual. And I guess that's one reason why. But the wife gets, she knows she has to do something, and she calls a priest. <laughs> He uh, gets home from work. He has a, a job lined up. Everything, like I said, everything is going so well. And he has this uh, job lined up. And he gets home from um, work. The priest is there. And he does. He is polite to him and talks to him. And what is eventually discovered is um, this thing is more concentrated on Sam. And sadly his wife and the daughter they have to go stay at a friend's house because it's not advised that they be around so poor guy he starts uh, to believe especially when his personality is starting to change i mean we're not talking about head spinning or anything like that. not hey that's a good movie yet. well you know it's a scary it's a good scary movie but, no, nothing like that. But, uh, his personality does start to change. I guess he, he kind of gets a grip on it. He prays. He does finally pray. And that helps him. And but at the point where, how do I say this? It's after the uh, wife and daughter leave to go stay with friends. He almost does the unthinkable. And I think you know what I mean by that. But then uh, it gets arranged for uh, these investigators to come in. And poor guy, uh, with, you know, the wife and daughter gone. And, you know, and he is there by, him, by himself experiencing these things. Okay. Wow. This man, I mean, he goes, he goes through it. He really goes through it. And the investigators arrive. And even more. I mean, this gets... It's a very evil, evil thing that's happening. Okay, I think I'll end the video there. And I will just say that he does have help to come in. And it still stays really, really eerie. And I do highly recommend it. 
And I just checked, and it is still uh, on Amazon. Now, even better, um, if you have, um, let's see, it's Kindle Unlimited, you can get the Kindle book for free. Otherwise, it's only $4. And they also still have um, Audible, and they have paperback, which they're a little bit higher, but they're not that expensive either. So, I wanted to let you know that. And I wanted to say thanks for watching, and... If you enjoy this, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you'd like to comment, feel free to do so. I, I love reading comments. And uh, if you'd subscribe, I, I would appreciate that so much. I really would. And once again, thank you for your time and for watching. And whenever this finds you, day, night, whatever it is, have a great one. Bye. Oh, and be blessed and stay thankful. I try not to ever forget to say that. Have a good one. Bye.